Introducing another please. Cookies just like mom used to make, but probably with less sugar. And I'm pretty sure we aren't smoking in the kitchen when we make them. I can't prove that, but they're all organic and that sounds fancy. We use real ingredients. Who even does that anymore? Trick question, idiot. We do. Satisfy your cookie craving with another please. A design method company. What's up? I hope you enjoyed that little video I cooked up for a product we're going to be making the packaging for in this video. Now, it's going to be a lot easier than you think, but first, let's just quickly talk about package design. Now, when you get a product, let's say this one in particular, this is a box of tea. Normally, you see the front, you see the back and the sides, and if you open the box, you see this, and that's normally what you pay attention to, but someone who designs the product actually sees this. Now, this is the full layout design, and things to notice on here are the box has creases in it, which have to be taken into account. The box also has a cut or a trim line where the box is actually gonna be cut out in the factory or wherever it is produced. And the third thing you're not seeing is called the bleed line, which is where you take your art a little bit past the safety zone to make sure when they cut it, that all your art is included in there. Sometimes if you go before this uh, bleed line and they cut it, you could get a white strip or something weird on your packaging you don't actually want. Now, I said this is gonna be way easier than it looks because we're gonna be using a site called Pactora. Now this site will let you use an industry standard of thousands of uh, boxes and packaging and cans, or you can enter your own dimensions right online and it'll do it for you. Super easy, amazing for designers. It also has a free mock-up tool and also a 3D generator, which is really cool. So when you produce your final product, you can send all these things to your client or whoever you're working with. So let's hop over into Pactora, let's grab a template and let's build this. Okay, so I'm in Pactora and let me show you why this site is so cool. I'm gonna go up to templates and die lines. Now, if you don't know what a die line is, it essentially is a template. It just sort of represents the physical structure of the box or the packaging. So it is essentially a template. Now I'm looking for like a little box for my cookies, a little gourmet box. So I'm gonna go down to tuck end boxes right here. And you'll see these will load up and it'll show you the box on the right and the die line or the template on the left-hand side. And I just want a little box with a lid. Um, that would be cool. Let me just grab the next page here and I'll go with this one. This one will work for me. Uh, it's printable and downloadable. And here's uh, some really cool features on this site. So it's building its uh, materials and the environment here. Now you have this cool die line set up for you. Now, if you look at the top left corner, you have bleed, you have trim, and you have crease, which have already been created for you, which is awesome. Now you can go in here and you can change these numbers. I could change them in this corner up here, or I could click right on them and change them. So if the client had a different... Uh, a different box size or something you wanted specifically, I could go in here, I could type, let's put six in here and it's gonna recalculate the whole box for me, which is amazing. Now, I could also go to the advanced tab. I'm in basic right now. In advanced, you can see all these crazy numbers to, to really dial in what you're doing. I'm gonna stick with basic. And another cool thing about this, if you look in the top right corner, I'm gonna pull this little thing down here. You can see what this box looks like in 3D. So you get a good idea what it actually looks like. And I can open and close the box in 3D as well. Now, another feature is I can choose the material in this particular box. Now, every bit of packaging is different, but this one could be um, white cardboard. It could be dark craft paper. I could use this corrugated board. So if I go to uh, cardboard and I pick dark craft paper and I start moving this around, now up here, it's going to be reflected in the 3D. So I can move this around and see what it's really going to look like as a, uh, in a different material, which is pretty amazing. So once I have all my dimensions set and everything looks good, I can download the file. Now the file formats over here, I can get AI for Adobe Illustrator. I could use PDF, DXF, and there's a 3D mockup version as well. Now I'm gonna be using Affinity Designer for mine, but you could use Adobe Illustrator. You could even use Photoshop and you could use Affinity Photo to bring this in and start working on it. So let's download the file, let's bring it in and let's start working on it. Okay, so I downloaded the PDF version of the file on my end because I'm using Affinity Designer. Now by default, this is gonna give you three files, three pages, should I say. Now I'm only loading page one of three because the first page is the outer packaging, the second one could be used for the inner packaging and then the third one could be used for another mock-up or something separate. But I only need one because we're just doing the outer. Next up under DPI, that means dots per inch, we are using 300. Whenever you print anything physically, whether it's a t-shirt or a magazine, you always want to make sure you're using 300 to make sure the quality is nice and clean when it actually prints. Next up is the color space. We want to set it to CMYK, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and key. And key means black. And it's just a process they use with four different plates when you actually physically print something. 
the color space for the web would be something like RGB. So uh, just make sure you load one of the pages if you're doing the outer packaging, set your DPI to 300 and set your color space to CMYK. Um, you can always change this once the document's open, but it's best to set it first and let's open and get working. Okay, so now that we have the file open, there's a couple things I wanna do just to clean this up a little bit. They have the specs displayed at the top up here and this um, label that says outer, let's just get rid of those. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and just highlight all this text up here, all the specs. And now that they're all highlighted in my layers panel, what I'm gonna do is right click my mouse and I'm gonna click group. So they're all together in one group. I'm gonna name them just specs. Now they're still in there. I just don't wanna see them while I'm designing. So I'm gonna click this little button, toggle off. So that's gone. And I'm also just gonna highlight this text down here outer and I'm just gonna delete it because I don't need that. Now, um, we're gonna leave the bleed trim in the crease so we can see it. And I also have this color palette over here, which I have uh, decided to use for this box. So um, we have this brown and this like yellowy kind of, this other kind of brown, I guess, these three different tones that I'm gonna use for the design. So um, let's, let's label these lines. So let's click on bleed, which is the green line here. When we go to my layers panel, I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna name this just so I know where it is. So this is bleed. And I'm gonna click next on the trim line here. And in my layers panel, I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna call this trim. And then these red lines are kind of, they're not all one line, they're all separate. So what I'm gonna do is grab them all at once by just holding shift and selecting them all. In my layers panel, I'm gonna right click them. I'm gonna group these guys and I'm gonna call this the crease just so I know where they are. Okay, now that our document is all set up, we can start adding our design and laying everything out. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is duplicate the bleed line right here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I wanna fill this whole area with one color, the color the box is going to be. If we fill the whole bleed line, we know the box is completely covered. Whenever it goes to the factory or the manufacturer and they cut it, everything should be lined up nice and clean. So I'm gonna to go to my layers panel. I'm gonna click on my bleed and I'm gonna duplicate it. So on a Mac, I'm gonna hit Command and J to duplicate. On a PC, you're gonna hit Control J. I'm gonna click on the one on the bottom. I'm gonna double click to rename it. I'm gonna call this box fill color. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna to go to my shapes. I'm gonna grab this rectangle. I'm gonna click and drag it over top of the whole box design. And I wanna use the brown color. So I'm gonna click on it here. I want this dark brown. Um, I have my color palette down on the bottom here and I wanna use this for the actual box. So now with that selected, I'm gonna click on it in the layers panel. I'm gonna click, drag it. And I'm just gonna drop it on top of box fill color. And now you'll see that it's outlining on the whole box. So it's gone right to the bleed line, so we'll be safe. So we are good to go there. We can still see our crease line, so we know where everything's gonna go. So first thing we need, let's add a title and uh, an image and some text on the front of this. So we can start looking how, uh, see how the box is gonna look. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm, I like this yellow for another. I'm gonna make this please text this color down here, this orangey brown. But I have an idea of putting these two together here. Um, so I'm just gonna click on this N here, and I'm also gonna make it that same orangey color. Now, if you zoom in, there's a little bit of a line between them right here, which I may fix later. Um, but for now, we're gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna put a period on please. And now let's bring in our main character and add some copy on the front here. So I'm gonna use this guy as our main uh, main character here for the box. And then I think I'll put some copy just below him. Um, I'll put cookie co. And I'm gonna make that the yellow as well. The font I'm using by the way too is Futura Display BQ. I think it just kind of works for this. I'm gonna put cookie co right there. And then let me just grab some copy quick that we can put down here to fill out the front of the box. Okay, so next up, Let's add a little something on the back, um, just a quick description of the product. And maybe we'll throw a QR code here um, just to make it a little bit more interesting and something if someone were to pick up the actual box, they could find out more and get a bit of uh, a few more details. So let's do that now. Okay, now that we've got some text lined up, let's throw a QR code on there. Um, just gotta click and drag out this QR code. It's not really gonna point to anything because this product isn't real. Um, but let's make it the same colors, the same brand color yellow here for the actual QR code. And now over here, let's throw some nutrition stuff on here. So we'll grab a nutrition label, the ingredients, and maybe we'll put some stamps on here for like organic or something like that, um, just to spice it up a little bit here. Actually, I think I might make Cookie Co. Capitals, even though the uh, title is not. 
Okay, so let's grab a nutrition label. Let's get some ingredients and let's get working on that. Okay, now I think I'm just going to put something on here, like our story or something simple just to um, uh, finish up the box here and finish up the design. And I think I'll throw this guy as well. I'm going to drag him over here, duplicate him so he pops up on the bottom of the box in one particular spot. And let's grab a little copy so we can put our story in here and uh, we'll go from there. And then finally, just to make this look a little bit more legit, I'm just going to throw a barcode down here that you would scan in a grocery store. Okay, so this is our quick design we've done. We've got our title, our character, um, a little bit about the uh, what's in the box. We have a story. We have um, a description of the product with a QR code. We have a barcode for scanning, nutrition facts, ingredients, and a couple stamps saying that it's organic. Now, now that this is done, we're going to export the file to get ready to upload it to Pactora so we can see what this really looks like. So the first thing we have to do is we have to turn off a bunch of stuff, these lines, anything in here, we don't want it visible when we're going to print. So I'm going to turn off the um, color palette because I don't need it. This stuff up here, I'm going to turn this off too because I no longer want that. I'm going to get rid of these things as well. Okay, now that we got that, let's go back to our trim. We're going to turn off our trim, our crease, and our original bleed. So now everything is gone. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export this with a uh, transparent background. You can do it without a transparent background, but I'm going to do it just to make it a little bit cleaner. Um, in Affinity Designer, you can go up to Document Setup up here, or you can go File Document Setup. And I'm just going to change under the Color tab to Transparent Background. Now that that's done, I'm going to export this by going up to File, Export, and I'm going to export as a PNG for this. The website accepts PNG and a couple other file types. Um, I thought it would be PDF, but it seems to be this is what it likes. So I'm going to export this and I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it Cookie Cookie Co Design. Okay, now that we're back at Pactora, what I'm going to do is go over to the tools and I'm going to pick the box mockup generator for this particular case. And I'm going to say, try it now. Okay, and I've got my design here. This is the box I selected, and here's what it looks like. So let's go to upload our images here by clicking here. And here's our main design now. So now I'm going to upload the image of the final product I had. Now that that file has been uploaded, now what I have to do is just size it to this uh, mock-up here. So I can just use these handles to drag this out, kind of like this. And my background is really dark, so what I can do is go down here, and there's a transparency button where you can actually slide it down a little bit. Let me turn the transparency down so I can see it. And I'm just going to try to line this up. Now, the packaging itself is totally accurate. This is just for a 3D mock-up. So you want to line it up as best you can. I'll bring this transparency back up. And now if I pull this out, you can see what this box looks like. Packaged. There's our nutrition facts and our ingredients and our barcode on the back and our barcode on the side with our story. And I can open this up. to show you what it would look like. Now that we have that, I'm going to pull that back and I'm going to save this. Okay, now that we have it saved, again, you can pull this around to see what this looks like in 3D. Now we can do uh, the last portion, which is grab some videos or do a 3D design. Um, let's grab some videos because it's something you could show to your client or whoever you're working with. And they're just here on the left here and you can click on it. It'll give you a preview in the main window here of what that video is going to look like, which is really cool. Let's grab another one to show you. And another awesome thing about this, if I go to the download button over here to download the videos, I get this whole option for all these things, which is amazing. So I could grab a mock-up and I could download it however I want at whatever angle, at whatever ratio I choose for size. I can grab the die line files, which are great because I can grab the artwork file or the die line file um, to show that off or to actually send the art in whatever color mode or format I want. I can grab these videos where I can also change the uh, ratio for size. And I can export all that and then package it up and send it out. So let's put that together. And this is what this looks like.
So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want to work on your packaging design and up your game, check out Packdora. Use my code to get yourself 20% off. If you also want to support the channel, feel free to join the community. Uh, you know, what do those YouTubers say? Like, subscribe, comment, all those things will make you a wonderful person. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.